Hey, welcome guys. So if you're like me, you use a lot of smart home products. If you have services from like Samsung SmartThings, Logitech Harmony Hub, Google Home Assistant, Amazon Echo, Alexa services, uh, Philips Hue light bulbs, and the list goes on, sometimes you wish you can all merge them all together. Well, there's actually a service called Stringify, and Stringify, I wouldn't exactly say it's a service to rule them all, more like a service to unite them together and help them communicate with one another. And it also includes services like If This Then That, which is IFTTT. A link to that video description, you can find a video link. So what is Stringify? How does it work? What it basically does is allow you to mesh commands together. So if you use a service, say, from Google Home and you tell it to do a certain command, you can then make it, say, turn on your light bulbs and send an email to someone that that light bulb just turned on for whatever reason. Basically, there's no limit to what you can probably do because it's, well, a limit to your imagination. So the simplest method to put it for you guys is to actually show you guys how it works in action. So I'm using it on Android, it's also available for iOS, and there's also a website version. So you do have the home section, and what you want to basically do if you're starting off is go to the things section. This is where you can actually add things. So I use Google Home, I use Philips Hue Smart Light Bulbs, Samsung Smart Things, all that jazz. So what you want to basically do if you want to add a new thing is hit the plus button, and then, well, add a new thing. And from here you have a growing list of services that are tied to this. And from what I've been told and understand is that this list will grow and expand. And the only thing I wish is that they had a search button at the top, but thankfully it is sorted in alphabetical order. So if I have Amazon Alexa services, I can tap on that and add it. I can add stuff from eBay. There's even services from Steam, for example. So if one of your friends on your Steam friends list does join, you can have, say, your Philips Hue light bulb start flashing. So I added all my services together. And what you want to do then is actually then go to flows. Now, this is the real brain work of how it works together. This is where things really mesh together. So for example, I have one called theater mode which is pretty self-explanatory. So let's see it in action. Basically to turn on my Philips Hue spotlight and dim it to about 20% and then change the TV mode to sound output to the soundbar and turn my soundbar on at the same time, really giving us a movie type of feel. Hey Google, tell Stringify theater mode. So there, my light turned on, it dims. TV is now switching to external audio output, which is my soundbar, and my soundbar just turned on. So you can see my Wemo Smart light switch on the bottom right corner of the screen, um, which controls the dining room lights to turn on and off. And on the top left corner, you do see my five dining room light bulbs, which are actually Philips Hue Smart light bulbs. So in this command, I can tell Stringify Romance Mode, and what it'll do is turn on my Wemo Smart light switch, which will then turn on my Philips Hue light bulbs and then quickly dim them down. Okay, Google, tell Stringify romance mode. So you can see it dims the light bulbs down to about like 15%, giving it a really kind of romantic type of feel. And the last thing I want to demonstrate for you guys is my fake home appearance. So by basically pressing this little green button, what it's going to basically do is turn on my dining room lights and my bedroom lamps upstairs on the second floor, as well as turning on my TV. Basically making it look like someone's home, even though we're not, in case maybe we are staying out later than we anticipate or perhaps we're on vacation. So let's give this a go. And the lamps turn on upstairs and my TV starts turning on. But how do you create one? Well, let's just go through one really quickly using the services that I have available. So there are some starter flows available if you want some examples, like some really quick examples on turning on lights, location awareness, and telling people where you are located. So what I'm gonna do is hit this. I've already added my things as I detailed before. What I'm gonna do is add a new flow. From here, you get a huge grid. So you can actually see the amount of customization per a flow is redonkulous. So what you want to basically do is add the services here that you want to add to your flow. So let's say, for example, I want to add some stuff from my dining room. This dining room object right here is actually my Nest thermostat. Well, another one for notifications. And we'll add a final one for weather. So what I'm gonna do is hit add. And you see all three of them are here at the bottom. So let's say I want to set a condition that if, what I'm thinking is, if the weather hits a certain degree, I then want my Nest thermostat to turn on, and I want it to send me a notification that, hey, I just turned on the Nest thermostat. I think that's pretty cool, right? So we're going to start with the weather, drag it out anywhere, and then you'll see there's like a little gear icon. And this is where it allows you to choose a lot of conditions. 
So I can choose, do I want the weather to trigger an action or do I want it to be the secondary part of an action or maybe later on in a step? I want it to trigger that when a temperature rises above a certain degree, and we'll say it's 26 degrees Celsius up in here in Canada, I'll then have to trigger it for the Nest thermostat. And then I'm gonna choose action and set the temperature to cool and let's say 24 degrees Celsius, save. So you'll notice there's some arrows on here. If there's an arrow only pointing to the right, that means this can only start the action. If you have arrows on left and right, that means it can be joined. Swipe them together and that creates the link right there. That's what activates the actual flow. After that, I wanna get a notification, so I'm gonna drag that over here. Send me a push notification and say something like test, save, swipe it there, and that's pretty much it. So it's basically saying if the weather hits a certain degree, turn on the air conditioning to this temperature and send me a notification that this was all done, whatever that custom message was. So I've been using Stringify for just over a month and I gotta say I'm a huge fan of this service. I've actually been looking for something like this for quite some time now. Now it's still a bit of a younger service, so there's a bit of kinks to work out. Like the website is still in beta mode, so there's a lot of work to be done there. Understanding how to tie an if this then that command it's a little bit confusing, I have to Google search it, but once you figure it out, it's pretty simple. You have to basically put the if this then that command in the Stringify app first, then go back to if this then that, and then tie that special unique code from Stringify to IFTTT. It's a little confusing, but you'll figure it out once you do it, it's pretty easy after that. So this is definitely worth a service checking out and really just playing around with this, whether you have smart home services or not, because let's face it, you can even do something like, you don't have to tie it just to smart home services, you can even do something like, if your favorite NBA team just won the game you can have your Twitter account blast it out automatically that you're happy about the win and also maybe keep track of the score automatically in a Google sheet like an Excel type of sheet automatically so as I said before I'll say it again it's just limited to your imagination what you can really do with the service and the list I only expect it to kind of keep growing as more services partner with Stringify so hope you guys found this video useful be sure to check out my Facebook Google Plus Twitter and Instagram links in the video description hit that like button it does help subscribe and thanks for watching